hello, I've seen you clicked on the video. Well, that's good, and I'm glad, because you're about to see, witness something that I am an expert at doing, which is book reviewing. And today we're gonna have a very special book reviewing combo, which means there's gonna be two books this time instead of me reviewing just one. These books are all about overcoming your fears, worries, and anxieties. So if you're a person that was like me, um, you are going to find this very interesting. So it's coming right up on the Masked Reader. Thank you all for clicking on the video, by the way. So, chew it! Good morning! Yeah, welcome back to the newest episode of The Masked Reader. Welcome everyone, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, and check out my new Instagram because our comments on YouTube aren't working, but you can always leave your suggestions and ideas in my Instagram. So, something just came in the mail today, so I kind of like to show you my new shirt, which is why I had the sweater up. It's kind of like a grand unveiling. So, as the great Michelangelo would have said, Pama! So this just, um, this came a few months ago, and today I decided to use it. So my friend from Brazil, uh, Larissa, she was very kind, and she likes this channel a lot, and she decided to, um, she managed to make this shirt for me. So there was a photo on my Instagram channel, I think, and she took that photo and put it on a shirt, and now here we are. So big thank you to Larissa and everyone that worked together to help make this a beautiful shirt with a beautiful face. <laughs> but uh, getting to a bit serious, we've been going through a worldwide crisis called COVID-19 and everyone's staying home and you know, we're all in the same boat, we're all in this together. For everyone from the future who's watching this, I forgot to say that this is March um, 27th, 2020, and with all that's going on right now, we're um, all getting a little bit worried, we might get anxious and stuff, so I'm dedicating this book review to um, these worries. So let me see if I can find the exact book that I'm looking for. Da Where is it? Come on. Oh, yes! Wrong one. Um, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, so this is like a piggy bank, except it's shaped like a football. Uh, except it's empty right now. Dang it. Unfortunately, right? But if you try to throw this football, I'm pretty sure it's going to hurt if it hits your foot. So let's just put this uh, over here a little bit. And, uh... Let's just continue looking. Whoa! Whoa. You saw nothing, okay? Hold on, let me keep looking. Um... All right, yes, found it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this book um, is a book that will help you go through not just this, but any worry in your life this is both, uh, this is a book called What to Do When You Worry Too Much, and the next book is called Starving the Anxiety Gremlin. This book, Starving the Gremlin, is written by Kate Collins Donnelly, and the other book is written by Don Huebner, I hope I said it right, and it's illustrated by Bonnie Matthews. So these books all help you go through anxiety. The, the book called What to Do When You Worry Too Much, um, it basically said, uh, it's like this. Worrying is like a tomato. If you, you can't eat a worry, but if you water it and you take care of it too much, it starts to grow. So if you start paying attention to your worries for too much, they start to build up until they're um, 
really affecting you and you get anxious sometimes you get stomach aches headaches you get weak and um people sometimes go through this phase uh where they get really worried about things and um and then they uh parents really hate that okay so um this book uh all these books have helped me when I ever got worried, and I hope that they help you too. Uh, both of the books include drawing activities, so if you um, there's you read through a chapter and at the end they give you something to draw. It's like um, draw you um, draw the worry as a ant and draw you stepping on it of course that's horrible for nature but it's good for you because you're getting over your worries um and they the star and the anxiety gremlin one also has other activities and fun games but overall these two books are kind of all help you go through these worries and they're both good I would highly recommend these books to people who need them and I mean not people what I mean is I would highly recommend these books to people that are going through things that are feeling very worried because these give they give you tips and techniques to breathe just let it loose crying is also a good thing laughing too and just talking about it with your parents all that stuff and it all helps you go through your worries so overall i would give these books a 257 out of 10 for each of them so that would equal about 514 out of 20. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have anything negative to say about these books, of course. So, I would like to very gladly wrap this up. And thank you all for watching the newest episode of The Masked Readers. So, that's a wrap.